for 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. It's... I like, I like that, but I also am not... I don't trust the writers enough to know that that was on purpose. Because what he just said was that um, you can you can uh, get your data backup for free if you pay ten bucks. So, you know that's funny, but it wasn't delivered to be funny. It made it had to make you think, which is good. I like that, but I also mm. yes, Cargash over here. Hey, I'm not gonna give you a fake fish. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. Sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. No problem. Apparently that's a paragon action. They they ruined the paragon system, didn't they? They did that, did they? They did. Mass Effect 2 has a ruined paragon system. And, I mean, I say paragon, but what I mean is paragon versus renegade. The first game wasn't perfect. Let's be, let's be clear. The first game had a lot of hiccups with the whole Renegade. But this one this one has more hiccups early on and uh I guess we're going to find out because I'm playing Renegade, so let's let's see. Well, I say I'm playing a Renegade. I just got 5 points for telling this dude there's no fish. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the Citadel. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I can't believe there aren't any fish up there. It must be a mistake. Can we talk about something else now? This is depressing. How about we find a Turian and beat the crap out of it? That always makes you feel better. Yeah. Thanks for the fish. I suppose. Dance question mark. Okay, so that's it for this area? Aww. All right. Oh, it's the the reporter lady. Hi, excuse me. Sorry for the punch and all that. You know how it goes. And that's it. Have we seen everything? I think we have. Hey. Yes. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Thank you. I should be going. Hey. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. Security. Very good security. But, yeah. I, that's the way through. Thank you. Oh, we didn't activate these. Current location. Maybe we did. I don't know. I've definitely, I've definitely been everywhere. So, um, so yeah. This is the place we know from the first game. Shepard, welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping to convince the other counselors to be here for this meeting. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. That's a weird... I don't understand why he's doing that in character. I understand why the video game would ask me this. <laughs> ask me to reconsider my options. I understand that. But him in character being like this is, is weird. The ambassador knows how to play politics. 
Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the Council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is, I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? What? Why? Why is he saying this? He was all, yeah, that's good. I, first off, I didn't let them die. They died. I didn't really have much of a... That was a judgment call. It was about... I understand that he's saying they think you let the previous council die. I wish I had killed them in the face straight first, but I couldn't do that because the game didn't let me. Um, which is fine because, you know, complexity of dialogue and all that. You want, you want the choices to be as, as uh, streamlined as possible so that, it, you know... Even though it's not ideal, you know, the difference between letting them die or shooting them in the face. It's, in gameplay terms, it's the same thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, I just don't understand why he's the one saying that that's a bad thing. Because he's the one that, I th yeah, I th he was the one that, that the, the, just, he could not stand the previous council, I think. I mean, neither did the other Udina person. They never addressed them by the, by the title. So it's really, com like Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina. It, it, it's confusing to me to remember who they are, even though they're major characters in the first game. But it's just that, yeah. The Alliance abandoned me. I think that happened, didn't it? It was a thing. I don't remember exactly what happened. But I'm going to go with that one because it's a renegade. Uh, the whole trying to save humanity. It's bad. For it's not, That's not... I, that's not... You, don't, you shouldn't do that in the Paragon. Because, I mean... It is kind of more common for the Paragon to be, in the first game, to be like, um, you know, let's save the aliens as well, sort of thing. And here we're saying it's trying to save humanity. Still, anyway, it's fine. What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. So that's what this is about. He didn't mention it before. Some of what I've been hearing about you is pretty, dis pretty disturbing. What have you been hearing about me? That I eat with my hands? That I poop on my carpet? What is this thing that you talk about? It is Cerberus, which is worse than those things. I... This is the siding with Cer. This is as close to siding with Cerberus as these either of these questions gets or answers. Uh, so I'm not gonna go with that. But this is the Paragon option, and I, I, I want to be a, a I want to be a renegade without siding with Cerberus. That's gonna be difficult. It probably is gonna be impossible, which is a shame. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. They don't want to see it? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI on Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. The original Council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new Council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. 
Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I think I made my opinion of the Council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much. But I had to offer. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see. And your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. It's weird. That, that explanation about... It's just hand-waving it away, honestly. That explanation about how the ship Sovereign, which is a Reaper, by the way. Uh, it's not even a ship. It's a freaking... It's a, it's, well, it is a ship in the sense that it serves as a vessel, but uh, it's, it's, it's a living being. Uh, a machine sort of thing. It's a, anyway, it's an alien, and it's weird that ha they have almost half of it, and for some reason, that has no repercussions. They make entire sci-fi's out of capturing a little bit of alien tech, oh, like a, a piece of alien garbage chute or something like that, and it's like, oh, look at all the things we can make out of this thing, um, and 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 they have a freaking half of the civilization destroying beast and they don't it's it's just hand waved away which is weird but i get i mean it serves their purpose uh, a purpose in the storytelling but it's still it is pretty weird what happened to gunnery chief williams after the normandy was destroyed operations chief williams is still with the alliance but she's working on a special mission 
It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Something I can do for you, Shepard? No, I just wanted to check. I better go. My door is always open. The, on account of there not being any. Or, this is the veranda, so I suppose it makes sense. Uh, what? Go oh, Galactic News. Yes. So, we know this place well enough. Well, I think I know this place. Oh, wait. No, I don't. This is the whole Presidium. I thought I was going to go down there. What a shame. They didn't include... Hi. Let me through. I want to go... Uh. Yeah, we're not going to get to explore the, down there. Not that I wanted to. I mean, it's just I know that it, that place exists. So, yeah, there's that. Well, let's go back to the Normandy. Sound of a Formula One car in space. That's what that was. Hey, do I have emails? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, you could just say yes. Thank you again from Samesh Batia. Commander Shepard, Mr. Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wished to again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nirali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Nirali's picture hangs on the wall, and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honor the courage with which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Vatia. Or Vatia. That sounds like an Hindu name. Indi name? Is it Indi? I think it is Indi rather than Hindu. Hindu is the religion. Indi is the language. But either way, um, and that would be Vatia, I think. Maybe, I don't know. You're not dead, exclamation mark, from Emily Wong. You're alive, question mark? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter, question mark? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know, exclamation mark. And then we have uh, our consort, Shahira. Is that... Uh I don't know who that is. Commander Dash Dash. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect. Dash Dash. An embarrassing notion, Dash Dash. But my contacts tell me you yet survive. I'm. Yeah, this is definitely the the consort in the first game. The the Asari. Uh, the, sort of spy master kind of person. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, Consort Shader. Yes, I know this game is all about collecting a team and going on a, la a final mission that lasts for two hours at the end. I recall that very vividly. I remember. I know that bit. It doesn't make the game less enjoyable than it would be otherwise. But it it's it it I must I must say that it's very I it rem I, it, I rem remind I remember I remember that quite a lot. Dr. Chloe Michelle, dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear of the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I would never see you or Garrus ever again. You and him, he, he did so much to help clean the wards up when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you are still here to protect those of us who have grown to depend upon on both of you. Is Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail. And I... 
it's it's not about checking. It's about replying. It's that's always the problem. You can see the I oh, we see the email. That's fine. It's just don't reply. And I don't think the com address I had for him works anymore because he hasn't returned any calls. Always so no, but just send a message. Come on. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks from Chloe and Michelle. It's interesting that she says his Grand Crusades because that, that definitely paints him in the light that, that he is painted as by the rest of the game. Uh, because he, he didn't say like his Grand Jihad or, or other sorts of similar-ish. So it's, it's not a, a direct one to one but still it's crusades is related to christian christianity um even though it is used uh, for uh, many many other things because we live in a society that is largely christian at least europeans uh, me counting myself as uh, one of them so um yeah it's, it's normal that people use crusades just to mean something like a, a self-righteous fight or whatever um but it does it, 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 she, it yeah the, the sort of like hints at, at something else it, it and yeah he's a cop so it's, it's also that anyway uh garris is alive in the end ugly he's definitely one of those okay well uh, i it's, uh, it's fine uh, let's see if people have things to say commander i assume everything's going well up here shh, 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 shh. joker i can tell when it's listening I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. It's fair. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? Edie uh, has... I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. As it subsides. Our mad scientists, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people. Our mad scientists. Speaking of mad scientists, let's go for some upgrades. Uh, although, maybe not these. So we have weapon upgrades. Armor upgrades. Advanced mineral scanner. That's what I'm talking about. The AIMED droid uh, group's proprietary Argus Planet scan technology has been integrated into the ch ship's systems. No, it has not, because I haven't clicked that button yet. This will greatly speed... That doesn't even... I did, yeah. yeah, the has and then will, yeah. Speed up planning, scanning. Have you seen the speed that I, that I scan plans? This, I shouldn't install this, honestly. I should not install this, but for my own sanity, I will install that. And then we have Med Bay Upgrade. Upgrades Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. But, ah, oh, no, no. No, no. No, no, do not like that. Do not like that at all. And what about these ones? Ooh. These are the ones that I have already, isn't it? Yeah. Well, okay. All right. See you later. Oh, wait a minute. I can, I can give the cook his bottle, or spices, or whatever. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. I did. I wonder if I have the brandy for the doctor, though. I don't think I do. Do I? How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle, I'll get the glasses. It's a date. 